We are back for the T4B Championship between the Cincinnati Roller Dactyls and the Detroit Revolution. Working from right to left is the Revolution in the black and red trim, and in the white and orange will be the Roller Dactyls working from left to right. Gets it across, looking for a quick shot there. That gets deflected in front, and the Revolution are trying to counterattack. Throws it in front, and Yokeman comes up with a save, and that's going to get chipped and cleared out. Battle for it on the near boards right in front of us, as Morton's going to come away with it. Brett lets one go. Good save by Alesso. This Boyke looks to drop it in down low by himself, and he couldn't convert. Oh, he did. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Could have used that from the trash band was last last game. It would have been great, but the opportunity didn't arise as Steve Snell, number 21, buries that for their opening tally of this championship game. Allen drops it down low for driver. On the backhand, cuts it in. Off Alyssa's glove. Furman with the backhand pass to Smith. He's got a wide open man on the back door. One goal lead so far. Two goal lead so far. <laughs> As the Revolution extend their lead at eight minutes remaining in the first period. That's Snell finishing it off with the uh, little spinorama on the ground. That's his second of the game. He's been the main goal scorer so far through one period. A couple of Snell brothers. We should clarify that was Steve Snell with both the goals. Number 21, there's a Matt. Number 26. And Bardsack with the shot. And now Matt Snell with it. Let's one go. Good save there by Oakman. Trying to feed one in front. Driver now with the puck. He's driving it to the net. Oh, he drilled it in the net. Number 19, Chris Driver. Opens the scoring for the Roller Dactyls. He really steered that one in, didn't he, Sean? He did. Put the pedal to the metal and didn't look back. Quick shot. Good save by Oakman. Puck sitting out in front. Morton losing an edge. Furman. Cuts right to the middle. Stops up, makes a man miss, throws one on, just couldn't get enough on it. Good attempt. Haichi walks in and hugging his chest is Yokeman for the save. Gets a Furman, Furman cuts to the middle. Oh, and he couldn't hit the net. Couldn't find that corner he was aiming for. Maddox gets it across the coming. Coming with the shot. Then it's going to go for face-off down low with about three minutes remaining in the first period. Quick shot. That gets poked away. A lot of patience by Detroit. Not a whole lot of urgent rushing. Just taking their time, getting their way in, and doing that. Boyke with a blistering shot. And now the lead swells up to two. Under two minutes to go in the first period. As Bartzak holds on to the puck. Looking for an answer. Throws it right in the five hole of... Alesso. Oh, what a good attempt there by Morton. Trying to get position in front of the net. Now the revolution. Period on in. Followed up by Haichi. Haichi has it. Quick shot. Morton growling it through the neutral zone is Bartzak. And Morton coming up from his defensive position, trying to help support the puck. So after one period. The Revolution 3, Cincinnati 1. We're going to take a quick commercial break when we come back. Period number 2. Thank you for listening to Grove City Hockey. That's at the start of the second period between the Revolution and the Cincinnati Roller Dactyls. Cincinnati with possession, but a bad turnover there as Nicole Maddox picks the pocket. Boyke with some steam. Toe drag finds it again. Yokeman with a save. And a second. Trying to get it in is Furman. Holding on. Backhand saucer to his point. Smith with it. Oh, big leg kick out of the fight. And that hits Snell. I don't think it hit him in a friendly position. Going the other way now is the Revolution as they get it out of their zone. Morton collides with one of the forwards there. That was Lester. Oh, the dreaded Zamboni door. Oh, oh man. man. Trying to get one on net. Yokeman. That's going to be taken away by Morton. Powering through his board sack, and he goes five hole. 3 2 game. Intercepted by Maddox. 
and she'll corral it and try to get it through the neutral zone. Makes a nice toe drag move. Trying to get around too many people. Now holding on to his bracker. Quick shot. That's blocked in front and going the other way. Holland with the big block and now Boyke going through. Steered into a style on that one. Good chance. Quick shot. Trying to smack it down. Couldn't complete it. Battle forward. Furman's going to walk away with the puck. Coming up on the 820 marker here of period number two. Three to two is the score. Trying to get around it. Morton couldn't complete it, but Morton loses it to Lester. Lester now at the faceoff. Thought quick shot. Gloves save, but he just couldn't pinch it off. Morton with the toe drag, and he gets around his man. Now he's wheeling. Feet in front. That goes underneath the stick of Bartzak. Oh, good steer in. Still loose. A little late, but they finally get it out. Three on one. If they hurry, they're going pretty slow. Finally takes a shot and didn't even get it on net. Lester trying to pry it free. Maddox now with it, feeds it. And that's going to come all the way into the neutral zone. Played by coming. Let's one go. And that goes past the reach of Maddox. She's going to control it down low. Drops it off in front. Quick shot. Great save by Yokeman. Alesso settling it down behind his net. Changes being made. Pickpocketed there by Tracy Bracker. Oh. Off his own man and in the back of the net. And we have a tied game. Number 17, Tracy Bracker with a tying goal with 5.30 remaining in the second period. The driver gets it up to Allen. Allen's not got Bracker with him. Takes a half slapper. Easy save by Alisso. Bracker gets it over the driver. Driver makes a move around one. Feeds it in front, and Bracker couldn't get it on. Forcing the issue here comes Snell. Steve with a redirect in front. Boyke was on the doorstep. And Morton's going to look for a long stretch pass. He's got it. Great outlet. Right to the glove again. Takes it behind the net. Pressure there by coming. Bartzak makes a nice move. Throws it in on net and tried to follow up on the rebound. Revolution now. Get possession of the puck. Boyke with it. He's got a mid going to the net. Quick shot. That's in the back of the net. Off the glove and in. Boyke bounced that one in. And the Revolution regained their lead. Four to three is the score. Snell tried to get through. Now it's a three on two. Gives a backdoor feed to Maddox. Oh, Maddox with the goal. Yokeman didn't stand a chance. She had time coming down. She looked. She picked her spot. So after two, the Revolution lead over Cincinnati 5-3. to three. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, the final period between these two teams. We're back for the final period between the Detroit Revolution and the Cincinnati Roller Dactyls. Now Allen gets it up to Bartzak. Bartzak with the shot and a save by Alesso. Nick and Mig now with it. The defenseman's carrying it on through. He's got Matt Snow with him. Puck's still loose. Yokeman swats at it. How your defense plays in front of you is one thing, but something you can't control is rebounds. Oh, as that took a funky rebound into the far corner. As Allen plays it back to Smith. And now Holland has possession. He gets a nice pass up to Lester with a quick shot. Aichi now with it. Carrying it through. Nice starter move. Big rebound that's controlled by Driver. Coming with it. Drops it in down low, looking for a wrap. And Yokeman with the cover. The Roland Actals are going to take a timeout. Two goal deficit. So faceoff will be to the right of Yokeman with 6.45 remaining. Nice feed to Maddox as she carries it on in. Toe drag move around Smith. Tries to go top shelf, but gets it right into the chest of Yokeman. And now Bracker with it. Shoots it. Easy glove save for Alessio. Picked off by Driver on the far boards. Played against Lester. He cuts it to the slot. That gets poked out. Looking for Snell. Snell all alone by himself. Shoots. Yokeman with the big save. Minute 20 remains. Yokeman heads off. Five on four. Empty net. And that's in. 
Tracy Bracker cuts the lead in half. It's a one goal game. They're gonna keep the goalie off. And a MIG with the shot, couldn't get it on net. Trying to get that lead back up to two is a MIG. He's doing it all by himself. Pressure there, Morton blocks it down. Furman sits in front of the net. His driver gets over to Morton. Oh, a big, big save. Oh my. Nothing called their driver throws one on that. Furman to Bracker. Fake slap. Redirect in front. Clear it out. Five seconds. That gets knocked in front. And the Revolution win. And they will take home the T4B championship over the Cincinnati Roller Dactyls. A great team effort. Mike Farinelli doing an excellent job coaching his team to victory. A big game. And stay with us here. We'll get an interview with Matt Snell, one of the two Snell brothers. So we're going to go down to Jake Drazinski here with Matt Snell. Jake. I'm here with Matt. Matt, tell me a little bit about the game. It was a really exciting game close at the end. Tell me about what made you guys get the victory there. Oh, well, it was back and forth, really. We started off strong, and then we kind of had a lull there in the second period, and they really took it to us, but... Fought back at the end of big win. Really nice breakaway chance for you. Close at the end. What that have been if you got that for you and really sealed the deal for you? Need the pressure a little bit, but I was thinking about that the last minute and a half left in the game, but it worked out well. Matt, you got a couple of weeks till championship. What are you guys doing, talking about, thinking, working on for next time? I think we've got to keep up the intensity. We go through periods where we're low, but when this team gets going, we're hard to beat. Well, I'm going to send it back to you real quick, Sean. we got some more my high action here. Thank you, Matt, and we'll see you in uh, Detroit. Back to you, Sean. Thank you, Jake. We're going to take a quick time out here. Thank you for listening to Grove City Hockey.